welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It is going to be yet another update in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. If you guys have not heard of Pan Those Eyeshadows, I would be really surprised. But this was a project that was started by Lexi a couple of years ago and it has taken off. So many people are doing this project. So I will leave Lexi's channel down below as well as her playlist for her two years that she did this project. And then if you just search the hashtag Pan Those Eyeshadows, you'll have days worth of content to binge watch. I know if I'm ever like, I don't know what I feel like watching today, I just turn on pan those eyeshadows and I'm like, perfect. I'm good for a couple hours. Um, in case you're wondering, it is freezing today in Minnesota, but I have our like electric fireplace on, so it's roasting in my house, which is why I'm in a tank top. I also went for like a more minimal eye look today, which I rarely do, and I always always have a smoked out lower lash line with like a dark liner in my waterline so I just feel like I look so bizarre and I'm hoping that I'm not hating myself for this when I go to edit. Aside from all of the housekeeping things about how I never love my appearance, um, I did hit pan on five eyeshadows one in this project and four from four like bonus pans if you will so if you're interested in seeing the eyeshadow pans that I've hit as well as watching me roll out two shadows because we're rolling one out we just got to do it. Um, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing before you move on. We do tons of panning on this channel and I just love to talk about makeup. So if you're a makeup lover yourself and have yet to subscribe, I would love if you would consider before moving on. And other than that, let's just jump into this update. Before we get into the eyeshadow pan that I hit while working on eyeshadows in this project, I want to tuck my ear in first. I want to first share with you my bonus pants. By the way, my hands don't match my arms. I did, I was trying to go for my natural skin color and stop the self tan for the winter. But then I realized that I can literally see my cardiovascular system through my skin because I am literally so pale. So I busted the self tan out again. So the shades that I hit pan on, not the most exciting. The first one comes out of my modern Renaissance palette. I hit pan on the shade Tempera in the ABH palette. I now have four eyeshadow pans in this palette. I think next year, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to do a pan that palette with my ABH Mario palette. But then I also think I'm going to cycle through all of my ABH palettes and just see how many pans I can hit throughout all of my ABH collection. Not a very exciting shade, but I am really happy to add another eyeshadow pan to my collection. I also wanted to note that I did have to completely reboot everything on my computer and I lost all of my pictures, all of my like project pan pictures. I might be able to find some in the cloud. I might not. So if I don't have picture updates to share for some of these and for the rest of my projects, for the rest of the year. That is why we're gonna get back on track for next year, we are. Um, and then the next bonus pan comes from my Norvina palette. I now have two pans in this and it's another really exciting shade. I hit pan on the shade base right here. Can you tell I was just cycling through my cream colored eyeshadows? Um, so now I have pan on base as well as dreamer in my ABH Norvina palette. And then out of my sultry palette, uh, what was it? I have three now and I hit two. And then out of my sultry palette, it's all ABH palettes for my pans this uh, month, you guys. Um, I already had pan on the shade Fresh right here. And if you can see, I now have pan on the shade Pearl as well as I finally hit pan on Twig. So super, super exciting. I now have three pans in my Sultry palette and those are all of my bonus pans. I'm hoping next month to have pan on the shade Dystopian in this palette as well. I'm continuing to work on that one, but those are all of my bonus pans. And now let's jump into my progress on all of the shades that I was working on throughout my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. All right, guys. So this is the current, uh, Quintet. This is my current color story, color palette that I was working with. So I am running my project a little bit different. Everyone's kind of tailored their projects to be their own. So the way that I've tailored my project is my goal is to either hit pan on, a, on an eyeshadow or it has to be in the project for a minimum of three months and I have to use it a minimum of three times in order to roll it out. I did give myself three passes this year. So if I didn't hit any of my stipulations, I had three opportunities to kind of just pass on using an eyeshadow. And 
I'm cheating and I want to jump right into the shadow that I'm going to be rolling out and kind of cheating if you will I haven't hit any of my stipulations with this palette or with this shade but I can't do it and the shade that I randomly selected from this palette last month was this shade right here which is this it looks like a black swatched it's kind of like a navy blue but it has some like blue glitter running throughout it i'll try and there you go so i used this shadow two times and this is the most powdery shadow ever it has so much fallout and then it has glitter that just ends up like all over your face and i just do not care for this shade at all I tried to use it two times and I just can't do it. I mentioned on this on this channel before. It's been a while since I filmed, so I can't speak today, clearly. Um, this isn't my favorite palette. This is definitely a bit of an underwhelming palette in my opinion. I don't think the quality on this is as good as the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. And the real reason I keep this palette around is because I absolutely love this shade Wanderlust. And I can get some use out of like the more like neutral browns, but like this section right here and this shade right here not a fan not a huge fan i wouldn't really recommend this palette because i wouldn't recommend buying a palette for one shade like like i kind of am keeping it around for but definitely not a favorite and i'm just gonna roll this out because i know i'm it i never i'm gonna hit my goal on it i try like the second time using this i was like i really don't want to use this but i'm gonna see if i can make this work and then immediately i was like i i can't work on this anymore Moving on to my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I am working on the shade Crown. I have had this whole palette in a project just used 20 times. So I've gotten a ton of use out of this palette. And I actually rolled this shade in right after that project ended. So I was feeling a little bit burned out from this palette in general. But I did reach for this a total of five times. And previous to this update, I had reached for it three times. So we're at a total of eight uses on this specific shade crown. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I do have a pretty good dip going in that shade. For a while, I just kind of was forgetting to reach for this, but I've been doing a ton of purple looks lately. And for some reason, even though it doesn't really look like it in the swatch, I feel like paired with a purple look, this is just beautiful. It's this icy white shade that almost has this like peachy gold reflect running through it. And I love to use it on my inner corner. I actually have it in my inner corner today. And I do think it is a beautiful shade. I feel like I will definitely have pan on this come the next update. I'm not really worried about that one at all. And then next up we have my Nabla Secret Palette. I was really excited to roll a shade from this palette into this project because I love this palette, but I feel like it's definitely gotten neglected in my collection this year. And even more exciting, the shade that I rolled in was this shade right here, which is Contigo. Hopefully you guys can get a good vision of it. Well, I cannot speak today. Sight of it? Um, there's not, I mean, you can tell, like, I've dipped into the shade. I used this, so this got rolled in last update, and I used this a total of six times. I have been craving these mauve tones, so this is really, really beautiful. I love to use this with the uh, Lawless Baby Love palette, and I use this kind of as my like mid-tone shade where I would use it to deepen up the the crease some and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I do think Nabla has a really really nice eyeshadow formula and it having this palette in this project has caused me to reach into it to it for some other shades I've reached into I promise as well as some of these shades in this row that I like love but just again have been neglecting because i've been focused on so many other shadows so i'm really excited to continue to work on this one like i said i only reached for this shade six times and i feel like even though i feel like these shades are a little bit powdery there's not a lot of wear happening here so i'm not sure how easy or how hard it is going to be to hit pan on that shadow but i am really excited to just continue to work on this palette next up we rolled in a shade out of my pat mcgrath rose decadence palette and i believe i said in my last update i was a little bit let down by this palette and i would say that i still am a little bit underwhelmed i think with the pat mcgrath six pan palettes you're not always getting like the specialist of special formulas when it comes to the shimmers but her shimmers still are very foiled metallic intense nice beautiful all the verbs right all the adjectives oh my gosh 
verbs is like an action. All the descript all the descriptive words. You guys probably think I'm the dumbest person ever. I swear. I I just I prefer math. The shade that I rolled in was this one right here, which is actually really beautiful and paired really beautifully with that shade out of the Nabla Secret palette as well as with my Lawless Baby palette, which I was testing out and really, really loving that palette. Highly recommend that palette. So this is the shade out of the Pat McGrath palette. As you can tell, it is, again, very, very beautiful. I did reach for this a total of nine times, and I'm hoping you can see, like, you can tell... Like, the shadow has some use. I feel like Pat's pans are pretty deep because I've tried to pan a shade from a different palette in the past. And even using it, like, 20 or 25 times, it felt like I wasn't even close to pan. Having this shadow in this palette has caused me to reach for a bunch of the other shades more than I definitely would have. Um, I've reached for, I paired this shade right here with this quite a bit just to like kind of mesh the two together if I'm going for like a more smoky um I sh if I'm going for a more smoky eyeshadow look and I want to blend in like the lighter pink and have it be more of like an and have it be more of a like seamless transition to like darker I am gonna swatch this I actually really do like this shade it's this really beautiful like pink magenta sort of shade and I've used that one a ton I also actually I say I was like underwhelmed by the shimmers but I I like the shimmers they're just not that Pat McGrath special formula but I really have been enjoying that like this shade I wasn't excited for when I purchased the palette but this might be like my favorite or second favorite shade in the entire palette I think for this time of year this like red copper just wet look is absolutely stunning so i've gotten a ton of use out of this palette in general and i just wiped off oh no i just wiped off my entire entire color palette that i was working on but that's fine i'm all over the place today um and then the fifth and final shade in the shade that i finally was able to hit pan on comes out of my abh subculture palette and i was working on the shade electric which is this beautiful lime green shade and as you can tell i have a beautiful pan i have a pan in the subculture palette. I never thought I could do it. At one point I was considering decluttering this, but I just don't think I can. That's where I feel like next year I'm just gonna try and like cycle through my ABH palettes and once I hit pan on a shat and once I hit pan on a shadow in one palette, I'll grab I'll just grab another palette. And until I hit pan on that palette, I'm gonna continue to work on that alongside doing the pan those eyeshadows project. But really excited to have hit pan on this and that means that we get to roll in two new shades because I'm cheating with the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic. So I've recently brought a ton of new eyeshadow into my collection and I'm really proud of myself that I finally got my spreadsheet back up to where it needs to be to be like all of my shades are listed. Super excited about that. I am going to quickly jump into my pretty random app and we're going to generate two numbers between 1 and 975. I did take out all of the eyeshadow pans in my collection as I was relisting that have pan currently. Um, but my only rule for myself going forward is that if I roll in a black shade, not going to work on it, or a cream shade just because I feel like I could hit pan on a cream shade on my own. So if I roll a cream or a black, I will re-roll. So we need to select two numbers and we get number 243 and number 946. Ooh, 946 I think I think is going to be a newer shade, which I'm kind of excited for. So jumping into it, number 243 comes from my Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna palette and it's the shirt shirt third shade in that palette and then number 946 I'm really excited to see what this is because I think it's going to be a newer shade or maybe it'll be oh it might be a single 946 oh it is a single it's the Bora Bora shade which I think is from JD Glo Cosmetics very beautiful shade but um might not be one that <laughs> feel like is great for this time of year but I'm gonna grab those eyeshadows and I will be right back all right you guys so the first shade comes from my sassy sienna's palette and it's the shade foxy which is this third shade right here it's actually the shade that's definitely gotten the most use out of this palette from me this palette I would have loved to have worked on more well 
I was gonna say more in like the summer time, but I also feel like these rich warm browns are really beautiful for this time of year. Here is that shade swatched right here. As you can tell, it's just a really beautiful kind of mid-tone orange shade. I actually do feel like this will be really pretty for this time of year. And then the second shade is the shade Bora Bora from JD Glow, which I, whoops. So this is what the shade looks like. I absolutely love the JD Glow Cosmetics singles. They are absolutely stunning. These, if you want like a Pat McGrath palette just for the special shades, highly recommend just going to like JD Glow or any indie makeup brand because this shade is so stunning. It's so foiled, so intense. It is definitely multi-dimensional or has like a duochrome shift to it. So on my like swatched here you can see that it kind of shifts pending where you look at it or what angle you look at it from it looks blue like it looks like the blue water in bora bora i have paired this with like shades like this and it doesn't look blue at all it looks straight up green so which i i never would have guessed even from the pan like it just looks like it's a beautiful blue metallic shade but this definitely has like even i'm looking at it right now at this angle and i'm like oh yeah i see like the teal green shade i'm really excited to work on this i've never panned a single shadow of this size um or from jd glow so i mean i can kind of see how deep the pans are but i don't feel like i'll finish this by the finale if i'm if i'm being honest but we're gonna work on it and we're gonna create some fun looks with it so this is my new color palette I like it I feel like I could like with I could do like a pink mauve look with this on the lower lash line or do something really fun like that so if you guys have any ideas for looks that you think I should create with this color palette please do let me know in the comments below thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel and I will catch you in my next one bye